Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. You know, one thing that breaks God's heart, knowing what he came here to do, he came to reconcile, to reconcile you to God and God to you. But he also came that we would be reconciled with one another. Now, the sad part is that many of you, and God knows, refuses, I mean, many of you refuse to forgive. There are people in your family you have not visited, you have not talked to, and I'm not talking about abusive people. God knows how to heal those wounds too, totally, and enable you to forgive. But I'm talking about just uh, areas where there tends to be tension or a personal, there are personality differences or differences of opinion. I mean, nothing all that deep, but for some reason, it's bad enough for the two of you to never speak to each other again, to avoid each other at all costs. Now, there are some of you that really need to be healed from your family members and the damage they've done. And yeah, you do need to stay away from them for a while. While you heal and forgive, while you pray that God mends the relationship one day. But right now, your focus is healing. But for those of you who just won't talk to your relative because they married somebody you didn't want them to marry, you won't talk to your relative because they defended their spouse when you thought that you should have come first. Clearly, the Bible says, man shall leave father and mother and cleave to his wife. And there are some of you mothers that don't want to let go of your sons. Your son is not your husband. Your son is not your man. Let him go. Stay out of their business and let them be a couple. Let them iron out their differences with God. They don't need you for that. Sometimes mothers don't want to let go of the apron strings. They don't want to cut the umbilical cord. And there are some sons that have a difficult time fighting against that, resisting that for the sake of their family that God has blessed them with. Well, see, all of that brings a lot of tension and friction in families. That breaks God's heart. He doesn't want to see all that strife, all the division, all the schisms and families and churches and memberships and friendships and, oh, come on. He said for us to love one another. He said we are called to the ministry of reconciliation. So why are we so quick to sever ties? Why are we so quick to write each other off? Did God write you off? No. When you came back to God, what did God do? He received you. How can you do any less when God's word says, if you don't forgive your enemies, their trespasses, neither will I forgive you yours. We can't afford not to forgive if it's not for their sake, for our sake, for your sake and mine. We must forgive. We do ourselves a great disservice not to. You're not hurting the other person. You're hurting yourself. Enjoy the holidays, you guys. Start getting back together with your family members that are not toxic. I'm not talking about toxic members. I'm not talking about verbally abusive or psychologically manipulating, controlling, and narcissistic. I'm not dealing with all that. I'm just talking about regular, oh, they get on my nerves, I get on their nerves type stuff. Reconcile that stuff. Reconcile and learn a new level of loving one another. Ask God to help you understand the other person so that you don't end up passing judgment. But the Bible clearly says, 
judge not, lest ye be judged. God bless you. I hope that little nugget helps you through the holidays. And I pray that you remember to constantly ask God to remove your hurts and enable you to forgive even the ones you don't want to forgive. God bless you. He did all that for me. I'm not talking about a college course I took. I'm talking about I learned all this through the school of hard knocks and found out what a very present help God is. And he is a healer. God bless you. God keep you. God cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Amen.